my friends, I'm back and I'm doing a video today on blue vervain, which is verbena hastata. And ver blue vervain is um, a wonderful nervine. It's one of my favorite nervines. It was one of the very first herbs that I made an extract out of, along with uh, uh, skullcap combo, which is available also on my website, which will be available as just blue vervain also. So I'm going to talk about this real quick. And this is not a wild edible, but it is a wild medicinal. Uh, it's actually um, one of my favorites of all. So it is a nervine. It's good for stress, anxiety, uh, mood swings, depression. It repairs frazzled nerves, the system due to stress, sickness, trauma. Helps with PTSD, shaking, you know, when you start to shake inside and you just had enough stress. Take your, take your blue vervain. Apologize for the background noise. <laughs> We're on a farm and my cousin's farm and doing some videos here on some wild plants that she has growing. So it also helps you to focus better and we all need that, right? So this is, I've got some St. John's wort on my fingers, so excuse that. Let me get a little closer up to the blue vervain. She is, um, she, you help, it helps with sleep so you can drink her as a tea for at bedtime and uh, it makes an an excellent extract out of the fresh flowers and I'm gonna bring it in the kitchen later and I'm gonna show you how to do it really easy how to make this uh, blue vervain extract the roots are a medic expectorant helps with fevers colds you can use as an infusion for anorexia so the simple extract will help you with sleep and it's great for the winter time. You also can make an oil out of it, but you have to dry the herbs first and then make your oil because you don't want it to mold. So she'll just show up whenever you need them. And it's so true. Like I'd be walking and then boom, there's, there's blue vervain. So whenever you really need blue vervain in your life, she'll always show up. It's usually with all most of your herbs. So just pay attention to your surroundings. And uh, so the seeds were said to be used uh, as a traditional in indigenous food, but it can be a lot of work. So I just see blue, blue vervain as a medicinal and not so much as a staple wild edible. And I know I can tell you that when I started taking blue vervain, it really calms those inner nerves. You know, if you had a rough day and you just want to relax, people usually end up drinking a glass of wine or something else, which I don't feel like that's probably your best bet. Your best bet is to probably go more herbal. And, you know, remember, you know, we have these herbs all around us for a reason. Let me scroll in a little bit so you can see this plant a little bit better. I'll have a lot of pictures, but look how beautiful those flowers are. They're so delicate and so pretty, kind of like just delicate to calm your nerves, you know, like that kind of delicate. So you can see the seeds too. That's not me shaking, that's just like the wind. <laughs> um, so the seeds are really small. That's why they're so tedious. It's a lot of work to pull these seeds off. Let's see if I can get, see the seeds here. Let's see if I can pull some seeds off to show you. I like to show you all parts of the plant so that you get an idea what I'm talking about. Some of the little flowers will probably come off too, but um, here's some seeds. See the seeds? They're pretty small. So like they say, there's a, there's a lot of work. You could eat them as a staple food, but if you're just making it as a medicine, it's better just to have a medicine out of this than to worry so much about. Um, using it as a wild edible. Um, they'll come back every year. This is a perennial. So wherever you find them the first year, you're going to find them again the following year. So here is one that is the stalk. It's fun to see the stalks. We were taught we would go around in the fall or in the springtime before everything started coming up and we would always find like the, the year before stalks so you could identify and you knew where to come back every year to find your perennials. So this is last year's. So hard to focus this thing here. This is last year's stock. 
and then you have your new stalks right next to it. So there are seeds on these guys. So here's these little seeds, which these seeds will also, they'll throw themselves and, and the process starts all over again. So I just want to do a quick little video of the blue vervain. There's a bunch of blue vervain all over here. This one here. She has a lot, and I taught her blue vervain years ago, and so she's just left it be. So now there's quite an abundance of it so that I can come and pick it. <laughs> and she has made some beautiful extracts too, which I'm so happy that she's utili utilizing her, her plants as medicine. And you can too. So go out and pick your blue vervain. This is what the stalks look like. They have these little blotches. Oh, there's a bunny I just ran. So far I've seen snake skin and bunnies and turtles. <laughs> it's beautiful up here. So there's the stalks. They have the little purple splotches on them. And no, this is not uh, hemlock because hemlock has that also. Well, that's it, folks. Um, you can find me on YouTube. You can on Vermont Pear Herbs on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram. You can uh, go to my website, vermontpeerherbs.com. You can find the Blue Vervain extract or the Blue Vervain and Skullcap extract, which is a nice combo. Right now, it's on the website is the nerve the uh, nerve tonic, which has the Blue Vervain and the scum, Skullcap in it, with also a lot of uh, other herbs. So uh, take a look at that, and uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you on the next video. Be well and peace. Hey, my herbal friends, I'm back and I'm showing you how to make a really simple, quick uh, extract of the blue vervain, which is my all time favorite nervine herb, perennial nervine herb. So I started cutting up some of these guys. I didn't get to the video of the day that I picked them, so I did refrigerate them. And believe me, if you're not going to get to your herbs right away, you want to keep them so they don't dry out. Or if you're going to do them dry, you can do them dry as well. So this is Blue Vervain, Verbena Hastata. And I have done the video. You'll see the video before this one. This is going to be the second part. And you see the blue little flowers. So Blue Vervain is an excellent Nervine. It's for that shakiness. Um, it helps with sleep, and we all need that, right? Um, when the reason why it helps with sleep is because it helps you to relax throughout the day so that you have a better sleep. So you can see what I'm doing here. Not so many of the leaves. You can put the leaves in too. It's not going to hurt it. Um, I like to get as many of the flowers in as I possibly can. And uh, it's basically really simple. It's good to let your herbs sit for a, a little while anyways, like even a couple of hours. So let the bugs, because the bugs do like to make their nests in these beautiful herbs. So that's all I'm doing is cutting off the flowers, tops. You don't really need anything else. And remember, don't yank these out of the ground. They are perennial. They come back with their seeds and they come back with the rhizomes. If you pull them out, what's going to happen, you'll have no more. So if you want to keep this beautiful herb around, I wouldn't uh, chop it all down unless it's in your way. And then obviously you have to, but harvest it first. Or call me, I'll come harvest it. <laughs> don't throw herbs away. <laughs> if you don't want them, call me, I'll come get them. There's a ladybug on that one. So I wanted to make this pretty simple and easy for you to understand and uh, make this extract. So you can fill it all the way to the top and leave a little bit of room. I think I picked plenty to make a quart jar. That's all I'm basically doing. Um, I think I've spoken a lot about the blue vein in the video prior to this, so I don't want to kind of repeat myself. You get the idea. Right now I'm just showing you how to make a quick, simple, easy extract. And uh, 
This one is available. I do sell it as an extract. Um, so if you are someone that is a little afraid of going out and trying to find this plant and you're not familiar with it yet, um, then you can just call me and you can definitely order it from me. It is not on the website yet. It will be on the website in September. And we are in August right now, so this video should load in time for you to probably go out and find some of your own. But make sure you know what you're looking for. I don't believe there's any lookalikes, but people can make them up. <laughs> believe me, they have. They'll send me pictures. Is this blue vein? Like, no, that's not blue vein. Nothing even close to it. But that's okay. We are all learning. I had to learn myself. I had to learn many years of learning. I have uh, almost 28 years of trampling out into the woods and learning a lot of herbs. I play with a lot of uh, a lot of herbs. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I I see them all the time, every day. Even in the wintertime, I see stuff popping up. Old stalks from the year before. Well, I think we're almost done. That didn't take very long, did it? It's painless. Another thing I find about Blue Vervain, you know, um, like I said before in the videos, it's very calming, but you just sometimes when you take it, it completely relaxes you. It's not going to put you to sleep. It is going to help you to be calmer at night when you do go to sleep. So that's another um, great, great thing about the Blue Vervain. And also it is in my Nerve Tonic, so you can look up my, I should have had the bottle here so I can show you, um, but it is in my Nerve Tonic. Uh, I made that specifically for people that are, you know, so stressed to the max that they just can't function. So that's it. That's all you're going to do. And you see the beautiful purple flowers. So we're just going to fill it up to the max. I probably could throw some more in there, but this is good. And remember, you can use 100 proof vodka alcohol. Um, you don't have to use 100 proof. I use 80 proof, which is fine for extracting. You just have to let it sit longer, which means this is probably going to sit for six weeks, four to six weeks. I like to let them sit a little bit longer. Um, if you had 100 proof, it'd just be 50-50, so it'd be easier measuring as far as the alcohol content goes and the water content. So, so this is basically all you're doing to your extract. You're going to pour it right to the top. I let it sit for a minute to let the air out, the air bubbles. Um, let's see, I just have a lid here somewhere. I love these lids because they do not rust. So I usually put the lid on and shake her up just to get that surface, the alcohol in between you know, the surface area. You can use one of those glass weights. I've used those before to push this down. Believe me, you do not want, you don't want plants sticking up out of here because then you're going to create oxidation and then they can mold. So I bring them right to the tippy top, even to the point where it's almost spilling over. So right to the top, even if some of it spills out, at least you know that nothing's going to stick out of there. But I would come back to it also, maybe in an hour, and open this lid up, and you're going to find there's space in there because the herbs are soaking up the alcohol. But you see how they're sticking out of there? But when I put the lid on, it's going to push them down into the alcohol. So you're going to let this sit for about six weeks, maybe two months. I like to let mine sit for six to eight weeks, all my extracts. Um, and then you're going to put the date on it. If you do not put the date on it and where you got it from, where it came from, whose property, and, and you're going to put a batch number and everything else on it because uh, by law, and you have to have it tested. If you're using it just for yourself, then by all means, you don't have to do that. Um, I do because I'm GMP, General Manufacturer Practices. So you're going to date it. You're going to put what it is, what you used for alcohol, and you're also going to um, put where you got it from. Like if it was on my farm, 
if it's on your own little farm, then you're going to put my farm, which means it was at your house or wherever you got it from. So that way, if uh, you wanted to go back and make that same extract and you loved the herb, then you would know where to get it from. Like if I had several people's homes that I was picking stuff from, I wouldn't know. I mean, I'd be like, this batch is here, this batch is here, and this batch is there, and not put where it's from, then you'd be, oh my gosh, this was such a great extract. I don't know where I got this herb from. So always put where you harvested your herbs and uh, whose farm, whose house, or wherever, so you can go back the following year and uh, do it all over again. See if you really liked it. So there you are, folks. Um, short video on how to do this quick extract. Go look for your blue vervain. This is one of the most and skull cap, but I don't have skull cap here growing. But blue vervain is one of the most strongest nervine that I use. I absolutely love it. There's other strong nervines. <laughs> we have marijuana, but <laughs> we're not going to go there today. So go find your blue vervain. Learn your herb, make your extract, you know, uh, try it yourself. Don't be giving it away to your friends unless you try it yourself and make sure that it's going to be a, a, a good herb and it tastes good. You can use whatever other alcohols you want. If you want to get fancy and you want to use whiskey and you want to use bourbon or any of that, go right ahead. That's all on you. It's just expense wise. If you want to use 100 proof, go ahead. You do not have to use 100 proof. You can use 80 proof. It's not going to be the end of the world you just have to let it sit longer and it is a little cheaper all right folks you can find me on uh, my website is uh, www.vermontpureherbs.com you can find me on instagram youtube uh, telegram and go look up my google and you can leave a you can leave a comment in google you can look at everybody else's comments in google uh, you're just going to put Vermont Pure Herbs and then my Google will pop up and the website, everything will pop up on Google. Google, <laughs> Tongue tied. All right, folks, um, have a great evening and be safe. Harvest your herbs, you know, safely and don't pull these out of the ground so they'll come back.